हेलो स्टूडेंट्स इट्स टाइम टू शेयर द नेक्स्ट वीडियो ऑन परमोटेशन दिस इज फ्रॉम एक्सरसाइज फाइव डी एंड द फॉर्मूला टू बी यूज इज एन पी आर इज इक्वल टू फैक्टोरियल एन अपॉन फैक्टोरियल एन माइनस आर द फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन आई एव रिटर्न हाउ मेनी फोर लेटर्स वर्ड कैन बी फॉर्म बाई यूजिंग द लेटर्स ऑफ लॉगरिदम देर आर टेन लेटर्स इन लॉगरिदम वन टू थ्री फोर फाइव सिक्स सेवन एट नाइन टेन रिपीटेशन ऑफ लेटर्स अलाउड तो लॉगरिदम कंटेन्स टेन लेटर्स फोर टू बी टेकन सो अकॉर्डिंग टू दिस फॉर्मूला टेन पी फोर इज द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स सो सिंप्लीफाई टू गेट द आंसर देर इज अनदर अल्टरनेट मेथड टू डू दिस फर्स्ट प्लेस सेकेंड प्लेस थर्ड प्लेस फोर्थ प्लेस फर्स्ट सेकेंड थर्ड एंड फोर्थ द फर्स्ट प्लेस कैन बी फिल्ड इन टेन वेज बिकॉज वी हैव गॉट टेन लेटर्स द सेकेंड प्लेस कैन बी फिल्ड इन नाइन वेज वन लेटर यूज थर्ड प्लेस कैन बी फिल्ड इन एट वेज फोर्थ प्लेस कैन बी फिल्ड इन सेवन वेज सो द टोटल नंबर ऑफ वर्ड्स इज इक्वल टू टेन इंटू नाइन इंटू एट इंटू सेवन दिस इज फाइव जीरो फोर जीरो वेन सिंप्लीफाइड another question how many different signals can be formed using five different flags panch flag hai to kitna signal hum log de sakte hain ek flag se signal dikha sakte hain do flag se bhi dikha sakte hain teen se bhi dikha sakte hain char se bhi dikha sakte hain panch se bhi dikha sakte hain after that so these are the five cases one flag This is five p one plus. There are different cases to be added. I have already told the addition rule. Five p two plus five p three plus five p four plus five p five. So get the value of all these from here. This formula to be used and getting the value of five p one. Five p one is five. Plus twenty, plus sixty, plus one twenty, plus one twenty. You can easily get the value of all these by using the formula. And when all are added, it gives three twenty five. Three twenty five signals. Now moving towards another question. Third number. Third number. Five men and four women. Third number. Five men, four women. In how many ways? They can sit in a row. In a row. If if the question is. so that the women occupy the even place if women occupy the even place so five men are there first this is place for men five places are reserved for men and this is the even place even place for women there are five places for men and this is even second place this is fourth place sixth place and eighth place these are the places for women so four women can sit on four places four women on four places in four feet four I have already told you that n p n n p n is equal to factorial n, so this is factorial four. Similarly, the five places five men on four women on four places five five men on five places in five p five. So this is factorial five. So the total number of ways. Is this multiply this multiplication rule? जब तक दोनों बैठ नहीं जाएगा तब तक multiply होकर रहेगा. So the total number of ways is 
is equal to factorial 4 into factorial 5. Now get the value 1, 2, 3, 4 into 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So this is 24 into 120. 24, 2, 8, 8, 0. This is the answer. Now moving towards another question from exercise 5e. Now exercise 5e is the same formula we will be using. There is a word triangle. Triangle, how many of these begin with T and end with E and can be made out of the letters of the word triangle. First, first question of how many words can be formed by using the letters of first part and the second part uh, when the words start with the first condition how many words can be formed and the second condition how many words which start from T and end with T and end with with E. Now the answer is triangle T R I one two three four five six seven eight eight letters in eight P eight wedge. This is factorial eight since N P N is equal to factorial and I have already taught. So the first part is answered. The answer is factorial 8. Now the second part, second part. Eight places are there. The first place is fixed for T and second place is, last place is fixed for E. Now there are six places. Six places. Two words already used, two letters already used of triangle and six places by six letters in 66 ways. This is factorial 6. So the problem is done. The next problem. The problem is done. We have to the place of the remaining six letters. So the problem is over. Now the second number, how many words can be formed with the letter of the word daughter, second. How many words with the letters of daughter when there is a condition when uh, vowels always together second this is first first and the second is when vowels never together One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There are eight letters. So the total number of words. Eight P eight. This is factorial eight. According to this formula, now vowels together. First guess. Vowels together. Then see what happens. A U E A U E A U E These vowels are taken together and the remaining letters are 
the remaining letters are D G H T D G H T D G H T and R. So the total available one, two, three, four, five, six, six items, six items in six p six wedge. This is factorial six wedge. And also these three items A U E will be together always. These three can be arranged. The three vowels in three p three wedge. So the total number of wedge is this into this. The total number of words. Total words. This is factorial three. So factorial three multiply factorial six. This is the total number of words. Now uh, the second part vowels never together. Second. Part. So we know that vowel together plus vowel never together is equal to total number. Total number I have got factorial eight since vowel together together plus vowels never together is equal to total. Now put the value of vowels together. Vowels together is this factorial three factorial six is plus. Let vowels never together. This is equal to factorial eight. So send this to that side and get the answer. Vowels never together is equal to this minus this. Vowels never together is equal to factorial eight minus factorial three factorial six. Simply try to get the answer. Now the next question. Next question number three. In how many ways ten books can be arranged? Three numbers. Ten books to be arranged on a cell. So that you have to arrange the ten books in a cell, so that the particular pair of books, a particular pair of books, a pair, two hi ke baare mein baat ho rahi hai, a particular pair of books, cell B, has always together. Second, never together. There are ten books, students. So ten books in ten p ten factorial ten wedge. Ten books can be arranged in ten p ten factorial ten wedge. Now the first part, when the two books b one and b two, let b one and b two are taken together. Then B3, B4, B5, B6, B7, B8, B9, and B10. Now count. This is together. So total nine, nine items. Nine items in 9p9 factorial nine wedge. Also, these two can be arranged in 2p2 wedge. So the total wedge is equal to two p two is factorial two. So factorial two into factorial nine. So you can get the answer by uh, knowing 
the value of factorial 9 and factorial 2 multiply all these and get the answer. This is the answer. Now the second, second part is always together plus never together is equal to total. As I have discussed in the previous problem, always together plus never together is equal to total. Now see, the always together is this, factorial 2 factorial 9 plus never together is, never together we have to find out and the total way is factorial 10. Now to find this never together, transfer this to that side and get the answer. Never together. Total factorial 10 minus 2 factorial, factorial 2, factorial 9. You can simplify this 10 outside, factorial 9 is left, 2, factorial 2 is 2 and this is factorial 9. So factorial 9 can be taken common, 10 minus 2. So this is 10 factorial 9 answer. No need to multiply this, you can keep your answer in this format. Now there is a question, there are 6 English four Sanskrit 5 Hindi books, 6 English four Sanskrit and 5 Hindi books. The books are kept in how many ways can they be arranged on the shelf so as to keep all the book of the same language together. How many ways? This is fourth number. In how many ways these can be arranged so that all books of the same language together. Now see there are E1, E2, E3, E4, E5, E6. These are to be together and similarly S1, Sanskrit, S2, S3, S4. These are also kept at a time. Ek satrana hai. Lastly Hindi, H1, H2, H3, H4. H5. So these are the arrangement. Now there are three items. First item, second item, third item. So three items in 3P3 wedge. Also there are six items. So these six items in 6P6 factorial 6 wedge. And these four items in 4P4, four four, factorial 4 wedge, and the 5 items, 5P5 five five is equal to factorial 5 wedge. So the total number of wedge is equal to, the total number of wedge is all will be multiplied, factorial 6, factorial 6, factorial 4, factorial 5 and factorial 3. When all are multiplied, we get the desired answer. So, this is all about exercise 5b. You can move accordingly and get the answer of the other question. Thank you very much students. In the next video, I will discuss more problems.